Hi, my name is ABC Matt, and if you're new to the channel, I'll go to yard sales, estate sales, garage sales, find items that are undervalued and sell them on platforms like eBay. Today, I'm at an estate sale, but first, let me tell you about what happened right off the bat. So at this estate sale, the guy tells me and everyone else that we're going to check bags and we're going to leave items that you want to purchase right on the table in front of us because there's like a lot of thefts that happen during the estate sale which is unfortunate and disgusting that people would steal in the estate sale but the pitch was not that great also you guys hear at the end my sticker shock from the black sabbath finals record and how much it costs um, really it's the way it's gonna be if you don't like that you can go somewhere else because people have been stealing a ton from us so go all ahead right. the sale's open all right how much is that? A hundred? Fifty. There's vinyl there, there, and over there. There's three spots. The nicer albums are up here. This house is four bedrooms, three baths, 2,392 square feet. They're already sold already. Everything has to be liquidated, but you saw the comps of those vinyl records that I just showed you. And my comment, it was sticker shock, way overpriced. But eventually, I do find a record that wasn't way overpriced. I guess one of them actually did slip through the cracks. There was another vinyl record that I picked up, and that's for a friend. That was a Bob Dylan uh, vinyl record. But, you know, there's three of us actually going through all the records, and prices yeah. were crazy i wanted the um, you know the led zeppelin i wanted the uh, pink floyd but with those prices it was crazy but surprisingly enough there were people actually paying those prices so i had to assume those prices were okay for them because they're collecting and they're not reselling oh sure thank you Watch it closely. Okay, thank you. So other than the vinyl records, I saw this Atari video pinball model C380. And it's an old one. And even though the profit margins is not the greatest, um, there's still money to be had. And it's a cool piece. So I picked that one up. And have to put it yeah. in the community hold table yeah. like i said earlier yeah, that's how they do things and the guy is just telling me uh, how gotcha. cool it is he would have picked it up yada gotcha. yada I have yada factory seal ones. Yeah, I got about, about 400. Mm. Jeez, you got way more than me <laughs> wow huh. so i'm going upstairs next and you're gonna see a lady and she was definitely savage she's going through yeah, the, the bars just to look at the vinyls on the one and a half floor part of the house i mean it's a cool idea because you got no one to fight with and you can sneak in and get something so definitely savage this room nothing much that caught my eye so i walk right back out i checked the other room it's predominantly the same thing to have some toys and knickknacks but nothing that something that i wanted to pick up at all i wanted to look at that comp hand compass way too expensive the binoculars also way too expensive and the kaleidoscope no profit to be made on that either so as usual just want to double check again because maybe something was slipped by the cracks and they actually mispriced something but i'm going to realize that there's no profit it's the price that they charge is what the price is the market value for it what i did find was a bentley model um 1930 four and a half liter racing car it's a one in 12 scale museum quality even though it's plastic, so I don't know how it's that museum quality. But the box is bigger than I thought. They were charging 95 I believe. And the comps that I did see were about 175 So even though the price was high, 
the profit margin was enough for me to, to get something like that you know you could probably put in there like a chewy box or something to ship it out Nothing else in this room, so I'm gonna eventually drop off the Bentley big humongous box to the community table, community hold table that is right in front of the register. Before leaving the house, the last thing I picked up was that vinyl record that I mentioned to you before that slipped through the crack. It was a Saturday Night Fever vinyl. And as usual, I'm just doing my due diligence, checking all the rooms, do it a couple of times. Even though the prices I know are really high, you never know. You might find one that is at reasonably priced and you don't want to miss out on that. So when I'm going back, this downstairs portion that's the basement level and there was nothing there for me you'll see there's like a rock polishing um, kit and that had some value to it but there's gonna when you see the price and the comps no profit to be made it's gonna be in the other room which I'm gonna go to right now so I'm walking to that room there is the rock polishing kit thing and somebody was looking at it already but in the likelihood that he wasn't gonna pick it up you always want to double check the prices so that's what I do I'm trying to go to an area where less traffic so I could do the comps and when I'm doing the comps no profit to be made so I move on so after this video I'll show you my haul and the comps. I appreciate everyone watching the video. We are trying to get to 200 now. And, you know, step by step, uh, eventually I'll get more followers. And I just want to thank everyone who is following me. And I hope to bring you more content like this. I'm gonna pick up a Bob Dylan one only because somebody asked for it for me. But other than that, I haven't seen prices that I want to pull the trigger on. Yeah. How about you? Too much. Yeah, it's a, it is. Oh yeah, which one? Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. I got up at six fifty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about this ridiculous thing? There is my diamond in the rough. It's an iffy. So that's the last item that I picked up. This is state sale. Way too high. I'm Person right. running just it must have it comped to every single item. It's good. Must have took yeah. a long time. But there were some things that were way overpriced 
yeah, you probably just looked at right the there. highest price yeah. and put the price tag of that value rather than looking yeah. at the recent comps. First things up was the Atari video pinball model C380. You can see a little bit of the history. It's from 1977 model. Then we have the Bentley racing car model kit. Everything in the package still haven't been built. Then is the vinyl Bob Dylan that I gave to a friend of mine. And then finally, the Saturday Night Fever vinyl that was the Diamond in the Rough. So next is the comps.